Brother, I'm been telling you say from Vibes Cartel release every video where the top vlogger them put out. You yeah, have to call Vibes Cartel them at least one time for the day. If you put out one video per day, you have to put Vibes Cartel in another one video there. If I two video, one of them have to be Cartel. Vibes Cartel is the most talked about dancehall artist currently. And it's like everybody has said, the other artists they must stand up and watch what go on. But anyway, Vibes Cartel returned to the studio. And this is our home. That's a nation, why pray? There, man. Shout out to Vibes Cartel. Yeah, man. How that? Active little daddy. People are all this. <laughs> the great blood clear red boom. Yeah. Well, you never know we that link up. How are going your socks? Through their setup? Oh, <laughs> sick clear no. I'm out. This are the first time Vibes Cartel touching at the studio since him released. I tell you, you have a bugger first time. First time Cartel do this, first time Cartel do that. And we have the first song we cartel record what we see put out to the media. And we're gonna play that soon. But but just want to focus on somebody in this. You hear him say Red Boom. Red Boom is the brother we do the mixing for Vibes Cartel song. And I feel like more respect need for put upon the engineer the name. Red Boom. Him do a bag of mixing in the dance hall. And we hear all Vibes Cartel. Stay from behind the bars and make them hits there. And the two names them call was Dunwell and Red Boom. And them I deal with the mixing. So people, if you get one song, mix the song and everything, clear up this, make the song them sound like how them are sound for the last couple of years. And the brother and Dunwell I deal with it. So you don't have to give thanks to engineer like this. That is why when we used to do my interview program, we used to call it the midfielders because a lot of time we talk about the artists and we don't make mention of the producers, we don't make mention of the people who help arrange the song, we don't make mention of the beat makers, we don't make mention of the executive producers who get the project together and also the engineer them who do the mixing and mastering. So we have a big up Red Boom. Not nice, tell me about my program one time already, you know, say I am the most of the mix them in the dance hall, but 80% of the song them when I mix, I am mix, I am mix them. So, you know, say it's not a normal, but him always said though, say it's not a brother we like, forget, video, I am not like video light or them thing there. So very few people are going to say that brother there. It's not a brother where you can get for interview, not nice, tell me upon the interview already. But, I could hear the first song. You see me? Or like a snippet of the first song where Vibes Cartel I put to the people. <laughs> yeah, people, it's a little snippet that of the song where Vibes Cartel plan for release. We don't know if other song where I get first, but at the first one this we see him release in the studio where him son set up in the house. When you see the thing them put up with the um the black and the red. Yeah, that him say him they have to take the mattress and wrap around him because when you record sound, it have to do in a sponge area. Them thing we see this a sponge for if you absorb the sound, it can't do amp on a flat surface. Yeah, if it do on a flat surface, if if the if the wall round you, um, flat or tough or regular wall, it will echo. Yeah, so you do that, that it, it sounds smooth. You see me, and that him there explain same did have to do. But to the song now, controversial as usual, talking about his life, talking say, him have him own opinion. Him no need yours. That for the people him who keep on say him if he do this, him if he do that. Them want to know who is my feature, whether I see them or Tanisha. So you see him using wittiness and him creativity. Remember Tanisha, so him say Tanisha. You see me? Yeah, so he might use the creativity right there. So, so as I'm telling you already, with all the talk that we see on the internet, people have said this, people have said that about Vibes Cartel. I'm telling you, them thing there for Cartel is like water 
half a duck's back. Yeah. Yeah. Them, they, them they not really a stick to him. Like Teflon. You see me? Yeah. So, is a brother where all him do, him just watch the media and take things from the media and put it in a song. So, I really content to Nagi Cartel. Yeah, bad mind people just like cartel content for make a whole lot of money. That's them can be more bad mind. That's them can make more content for give more money. That's them bad mind. And the circle keep going on and on. You bad mind him, talk, give him content, he make money. You bad mind him as a result. You talk, you give him content, he make money. You bad mind him. And the wheel does a turn on and on. Remember we see this from about 2009. 2010, 2011. So this, this is not really not new. And that's why I'm telling you where they want to see the thing they attack, I just cartel style that. And here why it's going to work again and again. Because it's not like people not invested in Vibes Cartel life. So if they invested in your life, they are going invested in your music. And Cartel of Jamaica lack when it come to that and the world. And him creative and him witty. So it's not just a man who come and say, Oh, where do you want to say this? And it has also sound boring. And say, Cartel, every day you just, you just basically I read out of the people. And I say, No, he must have said witty. He must have said creativity. We, you see me? He must have the lyrics. He must have the wittiness. If he say it one way, we're hilarious. If he say it one way, we're, um, we're relatable. If he give you one chorus, everybody can sing. So even though it am to him, it's like you yourself feel like you can relate to it. That is how cartel do music. A theme life, you know. But you still can relate to it because in some way, man, say something in the way I say, Jaja, you know, say I chew this. Yeah, so the boy them do me, I saw the girl them do me for chew, you know. I saw them do cartel for chew, you know. Yeah. Cartel know for adapt and cartel know for be relatable. And with the fact that he is so witty and so creative and can write songs. He can give a wicked verse and he can give a wicked chorus. He really not shot at nothing still. If you really check it. Yeah. That's why he is quintessential. He really not shot at nothing really and truly. You know like some artists, they will give a bad chorus. But the verse them weighed in the balance and found one thing. Yeah, I say chorus bad, but the verse them... Uh, no, no, like them could have done more some work. And they have some artists give some bad verse. Wicked verse. But you see the chorus, you can't remember the song of Bumbo Clot. All the verse, but them a chat a bag of thing. You just want a simple chorus where you can sing along. Catchy, relatable, memorable, um, repetition and so. You have some artists, them can't give that. Can't give that. So the verse, bad. But I say all Donia, speaking of Donia, Donia wants such artists who used to stay so. I call him. And Massacre used to stay so too. Bad in a, bad in a verse. But you say chorus, no memorable. You can't remember if you sing it. Vibes Cartel overcome them things from early in their career. From about 2009. I'm not a fact from early on that. When they must sing in a chorus. Remember, say Vibes Cartel, I'm on a DJ fast and chop fast, you know. You see me? But at the end of the day, if the song is not memorable, the song is not going to hit. You see me? Don't you adjust to them things. The massacre adjust. I talked earlier. So don't get it twisted. You see me? But I just try to show you. It says a DJ was bad with verse, creative. You see that little part of them? Ha, ha, ha. You see them little things there? Them little things there spice up song. Because it doesn't sound long and drawn out like a regular song. It sounds different. It sounds fresh. It sounds unique. It sounds like you might have fun with the music. A them thing there. When you are have fun with the music, people are going to have fun and listen to it. And that adds to how memorable the song is. You see them little thing there? Remember that I call that song when he said, Full of girl like net ball, hang up now, baby. Me there on the next side. And I make that song, you don't see him say, Yo, be a fucker, go on with more while in a dog. Hang up now, no, me there on the next car. Yeah, them little thing there. Show you say, it's not just a song where I record. It's like him does a talk and does a enjoy himself and it and it's so happen to be recorded. That is what make this that is what make the music real. You know, you know, you know sound like a song I'm sitting in a studio and a boss in brain, Jesus Christ. I'm a rhyme cat with bat, Jesus Christ. You know sound too technical. It just sound like like Sunday morning. Easy. 
Like you just know, so have a good time in the studio and not even know the producer I record it and I just come out. A them song the hit. So I could hear the whole letter of sound. Next thing too, I think I should have put out a song before Christmas. I really want him to put out one still now. Yeah, I kind of want him to wait till after a concert. But I don't know what I think. No, no, I'm out. <laughs>